Welcome to Drawfee, where we take your dumb ideas and make even dumber drawings. I'm Jacob. <laughs> I'm Julia. And I'm Karina. And guys, we're back again mm-hmm. for a sweet, sweet news day. Mm-hmm. And this news day is plus ultra. I've sprinkled in a little extra ultra on top. It does cost 99 cents extra. I completely forgot that we were doing My Hero characters. You literally just <laughs> did this drawing. I know, but I lost all context halfway through, and you'll see why. Yeah, I kind of blacked out during yeah. my drawing. It just kind of became its own thing, you know? Great. So it seems like everyone's <laughs> had um, an awesome time. Excited to be here. <laughs> We're doing My Hero Academia characters in different styles. Uh-huh. Um, I'm going to do mine first, since I'm the only one with the Drawfee brain cell today. <laughs> I have the brain cell for now. Don't lose it this time. I'll try not to lose it. Did you have a good time with yours? I did. I actually am really happy with how mine came out. Nice. Um, I did uh, I did Todoroki, okay. everyone's favorite half hot, half cold boy. Oh, you're cold. Yep. That song's about Todoroki. Just about Todoroki, <laughs> yeah. And I did him in the style of a Pokemon trainer. Wow. Like one from the anime. Sort of an Ash style. Oh, okay. Um, the new anime or like the old school? Uh, no, like yeah, the, that's a distinction you need to make. I did like the, well, it's kind of somewhere in between, I think. It okay. probably leans more towards Ooh. the old school. But yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and get started. I'll count myself in. Three, two, one, go. So Alrighty. straight off the bat, you all, as always, I have to like test out some poses that I hate. <laughs> yeah. But I get to this one faster than I get to most. Um, Because I'm actually already on the pose that I end up sticking with. I like that you draw torsos uh, in your sketches like they're a piece of toast. Yeah, well, that's a a slice of toast. (laughs) That's kind of what torsos are. A little bit. They're they're toast shaped. Bread. Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) Artist trick. Mine certainly is just bread. (laughs) So I tried to work in the UA jacket design, but in sort of an ash, um, short sleeved, collared shirt look. Mm-hmm. And everyone in Pokemon has these big baggy pants and big old chonky shoes. Yeah. So I did that too. <laughs> and then I uh, I changed sort of Todoroki's hair to be more in the Pokemon style. Um, the eyes I had to change because they looked like Ash's eyes but didn't look like Todoroki's eyes at all. So I switched them to kind of this form, which was something in between. Yeah, Todoroki's a little moodier than our boy Ash. Yeah, he's a little moodier. <laughs> um, and I was already really happy with the sketch. I feel like it looks really pokemon Yeah. And it looks like Todoroki. Mm-hmm. And I was Here like, well, Grimace. he Ooh, needs friend. he needs to have some Pokemon Grimace. in it and uh, not Grimace. <laughs> oh. And so this is when I realized that the Pokemon Embor is literally Endeavor. Oh, it's his dad. As a Pokemon. Embor, Embor is Todoroki's dad. Yeah, Todoroki's dad yeah. in the anime Endeavor has a big flaming mustache and stuff. And so does Embor. He's got like these this flaming like beard mm-hmm. situation. He looks angry just like Endeavor does. Yeah. And so I figured <laughs> Imbor would be a good first one to do. Aww. Uh, Todoroki has a notoriously complicated relationship with his father um, <laughs> and his mother, which is what I decided to go for for the ice Pokemon that I used, um, which I'll be getting to here in just a second. Also, I'd like to point out that I did most of this without zooming at all, and I hope everyone's <laughs> very proud of me. Yeah, that's impressive. Is that something we should have been doing? No, I just zoom okay, a lot. Good. And sometimes <laughs> when it gets sped up, it looks like wild. Like it's zooming in and mine's out gonna so be much. Wild. I'm excited to see mine's yeah. <laughs> sped up. <laughs> Let's see if ours are comprehensible whatsoever. Ooh. Um, so for the ice Pokemon, I went with Frostlass, okay. which Julia, you actually drew in a Pokemon episode. It was the the ice woman, the ice ghost woman that oh, you drew. Oh, yeah. <laughs> this yeah, is yeah, the yeah. actual Pokemon of that. Um, yeah. Because Todoroki's mom is kind of like, a very sad, a, a very lady. sad character, and she's like sort of abused. And I decided to save. <laughs> oh, that's now. good. Yeah, that's smart. Save right there. Um, so I decided to go with Frost Last. A lot of kind of represented his whole family and his duality. You know what Ooh. I'm saying? You know what I'm getting at? Yeah, man. Um, then Thank I you. guess I just sort of sat here for a while. <laughs> we probably ordered lunch during that probably. time. Probably. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and then I got to the inking. I was trying to use sort of like a thin. Um, I used Kyle's ink box ballpoint pen brush. Okay. Yeah. So it's a, a little thinner, has a little bit of texture to it. And, and it has uh, that roundness that I associate with the lines in Pokemon. Yeah, totally. I thought it kind of it kind of fit the yeah. fit the brief. This was me checking to make sure I actually went thin enough on the lines because I have a problem with <laughs> getting some thinking I'm going lines. too thin or thin enough and then it ends up being real chonk. Right. Um so yeah, the inking was a pretty straightforward segment. 
Uh, I always do a thing when I'm drawing where I, I really put most of the detail into the sketch. Mm -hmm. And then for the inking, I just kind of black out. I just kind of space mean, out. I think that's, yeah, fun. <laughs> that's like the third <laughs> kind of part of it. Same. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's, it's how I like to draw, but it's objectively <laughs> more time consuming. <laughs> yeah. Like I know a lot of artists that will do like a really rough sketch and then just like jump straight to inks. Oh, and, the like, sketch is therapeutic. I thought you were saying the inking was therapeutic. Oh, the inking for me is therapeutic. Oh, good for you. Inking's <laughs> my favorite part of drawing, which is why I like to put so much into the sketch so that the inking can be a sort of mindless. And... <laughs> I do the uh, basically minimal sketch and uh, you know put figure out all the details when I ink. Yeah. Uh, not for these videos, but <laughs> usually if I draw in my usual style because I know my own style better, I have a very rough sketch. It's basically yeah. just like a composition sketch. Yeah, it, it changes for me if I'm doing like time sensitive work for work. Like back <laughs> when I was doing a lot of comics, I had to sort of change my workflow to get, get done in time. Yeah. But if I have my own choice and I'm drawing for my own enjoyment, mm -hmm. then I always do. I always like to spend a lot of time on the sketch. Yeah, yeah for my own enjoyment, I never ink. <laughs> Fair. I only ink for work, honestly. Karina's method, just don't. Just, just don't, don't ink. If it looks like I've inked something, it's actually just a very small sketch, like brush. It's very oh. thin pencil brush. That's interesting. Sometimes I wish I could do that, but I I can't. I, I just can't do that. I don't know why. Like, I have to work this way. Well, I wish I could ink like you because you do it very well and you seem to enjoy it. Yeah. yeah. I think I just do can't it well relate. because- Wish I could. I do it well because I like it. Yeah. And so I like to really- If you like it, you're going to spend time on yeah, it. Yeah, I spend more time on it since I enjoy it. Yeah. Those shoes are giving me some slight DBZ vibes and I've never noticed <laughs> that the Pokemon shoes do kind of look DBZ-ish. Yeah, they're kind of these chunky boots a lot of the time. Yeah. Like the chunky yeah. tennis shoes. No laces, just like these like straps, like <laughs> elastic bands. Yeah. No one in the Pokemon universe knows how to tie shoes. No. I remembered here that I didn't I forgot to include those head things in the sketch on Frostlass, so I just had to wow. do them at that point. Thankfully I remembered because I would have got razzed. <laughs> yeah, you would have. If I had uh, not included it. Mm -hmm. uh, this one took me a little bit longer as a whole, I think just because there were three figures I had to draw. That's true. You did give yourself three characters to try to and draw. And I, I always forget that that makes it take more time. What, yeah, go Putting figure. more things in the drawing? <laughs> yeah. Like I, go figure. Because this one took me like close to three hours, I think, to do. Um, and <laughs> it's not like a complicated drawing at all. Like it's a pretty simple style. And it wasn't very hard for me to conceive of like what I wanted to do with it. So mm -hmm. I was surprised it took that long. And I was like, oh, I guess it's because I had to draw. Yeah. Three full size characters with their that, own their that details. have like a lot of big shapes. Yeah. So. Yeah. You want to get all that stuff right. Yeah, like big <laughs> shapes that have a lot of like weird angles to them, like Embor's whole like fire collar thing. Yeah. Yeah. And I was doing a fun trick on myself where in the official art, Embor is facing the other direction. Oh, yeah. And I didn't flip my reference. I was just doing Good. it from brain. <laughs> Great. I was brain flipping while I worked. So that made it fun too That's to nice really and just easy. struggle, <laughs> struggle through that without when I could have made it very easy and I chose not to. Because that's how I live. You darn played yourself. I done played myself. Uh, now the inks are pretty much done. This is such a good ink. Yeah, Thank really. Thank you. I'm this really looks happy like a with a coloring the... book. It really does. I was <laughs> yeah. just thinking that. A lot it's of my so clean. A lot of my inks end up looking like coloring books because I make them very, very clean. God, I wish that were me. Clean, big shapes without like tiny lines in it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like I do a lot of like little little folds like at the knee and and like little creases and things. Um, but yours is so. Uh, like clean looking. Yeah. Yeah, that's me, baby. It feels very satisfying to look at. But the the downside to that is that I'm not very good at doing super detailed line work. I'm 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 good at doing big shapes. You can see that I have a white block up there because I blocked out where I had put the oh. official art <laughs> that I was color <laughs> right. sampling from. Yeah. So nice. that I wouldn't have to report it in this episode to our <laughs> legal team. Shout out to legal. Shout out to legal. <laughs> So it's behind there. There's an inboard behind there that you can't see. So it's fine. This is how we get the episodes out on time. Is that we don't report it to legal. Yeah, exactly. And coloring is just so much easier if it's like a known figure just to like sample the color from the yeah. actual art. It's I like love I don't want to. Fire. 
Yeah, I, I actually learned that. something through doing the, the fire. What? Huh? Um, through emulating the fire, I sort of learned how to do that anime style fire, which I always really liked, but never knew how to do. Nice. But I feel like I have a better grasp on it now. Yeah, it looks great. There's Todoroki's burned eye. Yep. Nice. His classic burned eye. <laughs> classic Todoroki. And then I just went in with shading mm -hmm. uh, to make it look nice and moody. Yep. Uh, there's not a ton of shading usually in the Pokemon anime. They usually nope. do flats a lot of the time, but it was looking a little too flat to me. Yeah. It suits it so well. Yeah. yeah. And so I wanted to do shading to make it just look a little, make it pop a little more. It's like more uh, Pokemon promotional art. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Than like the show, which I, I feel like I, you know, I mean, it's promotional art for a reason. It looks better. Yeah, because so. it's a still image that doesn't have to move. Yeah. Which oh. definitely <laughs> helps. It really gave that ice Pokemon some depth. Yeah. Adding that shade to the the helmet thing. I don't know what I'm saying. But yeah. You I, get what I'm saying. I get, I get it, and I appreciate it. Also, you'll notice that I got to Embor, and I was like, oh, no, fire makes light. Yeah. <laughs> and then I was like, I'm just not going to reflect that on the other characters, but I will do it on Embor himself. Yeah. Uh, then I just added Ooh. these gradients and because I wanted to do some like yeah. frosty wow. snow over there. Wow. And then I wanted to do some like cinders over on this nice. side. Um, this looks great. And this is just like a, you know, soft round brush with some glow effects on it. And that's it. That's the full thing. Wow. That's so good. I was super happy with how this one came out. It was a good art day, unlike the last episode where I drew Goku <laughs> as uh, the avatar. And you had a lot of problems with his hand. <clears> yeah, and I that. struggled for a long time. This one this one was much easier. Came out really nicely. Well, I feel like you nailed it. So yeah. good job. Thanks, guys. Thank you so much. You even labeled your some of your layers. I labeled wow. some of some my of layers. Them. <laughs> you know I'm really trying hard if I label some of my layers. It's still like a, I'm proud of you, Jacob. The majority are not labeled. But, some of them are. But some of them are, and that's something. I and do keep misreading flats as farts. So Embor <laughs> farts. Embor farts, Frostlass farts, and yep. Todoroki farts. Yep. <laughs> the whole family. Um, next up, we've got Karina's Ew, video. Me. Karina, a new entry to the Woo. speed drawing Drawfee universe. Yeah, this is your first one you've yeah. done for this kind of episode. So excited. Do you want to tell us what you did? Um, I drew Bakugo. The angry one. The angry one. A little explosion boy. In the style of Into the Spider-Verse. Oh, man. <laughs> I'm really excited so to see this one. I'm sorry it's going to be kind of fast because <laughs> I spent a while on it. Oh, that's totally fine. It's all 10 yeah. minutes here. It doesn't <laughs> it's all matter. 10 minutes here. Uh, I'll go ahead and count you in. Yeah. Three, two, one, go. Well, so um, I'm just going to say now it looks like I really bust out this pose. I kind of didn't. Um, I looked up references ahead of time. Um, that's still I... impressive. That's a good pose. <laughs> I like collecting pose catalogs and like pose reference books. Mm -hmm. I have no impulse control, so I like to pick one up whenever I'm at the Japanese bookstore. And um, so I have a bunch of fighting ones. So this is kind of pieced together from, I think, three different photos from those books. Damn. I want I want to get some of those books because <laughs> yeah, I'm always really. like thinking about like how I want yeah. more complicated poses. This... And I saw that canvas flip. You're actually trying to make this work. <laughs> and this looks like a... Uh... I mean, you're really showing your animator colors here <laughs> with this dynamic pose and this movement. It yeah, just, it's got so much action yeah. to yeah. it. Yeah, I always like trying dynamic poses. Yeah, it's something that, like I said, I buy all these books and I'm like, <laughs> I'm gonna do this so much, and then I do it maybe like a few times a year, <laughs> three times a year. <laughs> That's <laughs> it looks enough. So good, but yeah, and um, my thought process for this because I did not have a very strong idea of how to tackle into the Spider-Verse style because it's a 3D movie, Yeah, um, was to just do things the way I normally do them and deal with it later. <laughs> <laughs> so right. I went and inked the whole thing <laughs> and um, changed the eyes multiple times. So, As you do. Um, before actually doing the actual challenge. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I think that's fair. I think that yeah. works. Yeah. Yeah, so... Welcome to the inking portion. <laughs> Enter the inking verse. 
But yeah. Is what your movie would be called. <laughs> these lines are so clean too. My God. Yeah, these are looking real nice. Thank yeah. you. <laughs> I love the shape of the face. All these, the thing I always notice with yours is the shape of the face. It's so good. I feel like I'm watching a music video because how it like, keeps like, flipping style and then like zooming in and out. <laughs> Like yeah, he's gonna be like I zoom yeah. a lot. I also misclick a lot. So if there's ever like weird flashes where thing just disappears, it's because I misclicked or accidentally hit Z or something. I do that. It all could the time. be anything, really. I hit F4 or F6 <laughs> a lot when I'm trying to hit F5. So I oftentimes will just bring up like that weird Apple menu that no one knows what it's for when you hit F4. Yeah, there were a few parts in this video where I kept accidentally opening things or switching windows, and I wasn't sure if it recorded or not, and I don't know if they, because after a while I was like, I don't bother editing it out, so uh, if David didn't take them out, you'll see some of my notes to David. <laughs> I, think, I think what how I set up your recording on your computer was that it only recorded this window yeah. of Photoshop, so you shouldn't see anything else yeah. other than Photoshop. But I, I wasn't sure if that included like the save, <laughs> the save menu. No, I think you're good the because mine, yeah, I was good. I just didn't know. Yeah. <laughs> mine doesn't even uh, record the the little layers panel, and you'll see that on mine is that like you'll just see my pen going up and down in one really <laughs> small section, and that's because that's where my layers are, and it's being hidden. That's but, weird. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, when it comes to inking, I I go between the sketch and the inks a lot. I did it a lot less in this draw because I was feeling self conscious about being recorded. But um, like there, <laughs> it is um, a weird pressure. Yeah, so I don't actually finish my sketches that much. I just kind of make up a lot of it in inks, or I just go back and redraw an entire thing. <laughs> Yeah, totally. Yeah. <laughs> I actually did that on mine, but it was too fast to to notice where I did like <laughs> I did an ink layer on the right hand and then I like made that into a sketch layer because I didn't like it and then I inked <laughs> over it again and like did that a couple times till it was till I liked it. Yeah. So this oh, is, this where is so I start cool already. The flats. Whoa. Yeah, I just I I go in and I kind of just drop in all the colors. I like to call it the dirty dirty icing of yeah. my drawing, like if you're doing a cake. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, it's good. And then fix it. <laughs> it's smart because then you have all the colors available to you. So yeah. You can just like eyedropper it or Basically. whatever. Yeah. And that's why I'm always hitting the wrong keys on my keyboard <laughs> because I switched a lot between the eyedropper and like the foreground background colors. Mm -hmm. I'm always switching in and out. Yeah. And then I just accidentally zoom in constantly. <laughs> it's so funny to me to see like just how different the <laughs> workflow is yeah. for different people. I think it's it. I, I think it very much comes from where we all come from in art and like our art history. Yeah, like yeah. I come from Georgia where everyone just <laughs> paint and buckets it, flats it right in. It's a Georgia tradition. Yeah, we and I come animator. from Texas yep. where it's just a lot of wild yeehawing around the canvas, <laughs> just eating myself all over the place. Just where am I now? You don't know. <laughs> <laughs> you don't know? I don't know. No one knows. <laughs> I don't even remember doing this drawing. <laughs> <laughs> so what I decided to do to start off with this 3D kind of style was to just go in and do colored line art so that it kind of recedes a lot and I could just mm -hmm. go crazy on top of it. I don't know. Yeah. And yeah. I love colored line art. And yeah. uh, as of right now, I'm kind of like really digging on Promare. Saw Promare a couple times in theaters. Mm -hmm. Good stuff. And I've been dipping back into colored line art because of that, frankly. <laughs> yeah, because they do that And it always movie, just looks right? really nice, yeah. <laughs> yeah <that's> <laughs> but cool. it's like something I usually don't have the patience to do. <laughs> it's the nice thing about these challenges is it's like for your job, <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> we're making you take your time yeah. and like just like do your best. And I had a lot of fun with this, but it was just a lot of like, well, I'm just making this up right now, so. That's art. This, That's art, dog. So these are the flats, and this is where the wild what? shit oh, begins. Oh, boy. Oh, wow. <laughs> what is um, happening? <laughs> oh, some things are happening now. So, yeah. So I was just trying to make it look like the movie, and that was a lot of guesswork because it's a really complicated style, but it was really fun to try. <laughs> yeah, it's like you're doing like a lot of textured brushes. Yeah, because that's how it looks in the film. Everything's yeah. very 
I don't know. It's so weird. It's like soft, but also really contrasty. So I used a brush I don't usually use. I think it was like the uh, Brush Beauty from Kyle's Inkbox. Yeah, I know Brush Beauty. Yeah. Oh, and you got some little. Yeah, we got to break out the half tone. The half tone brushes. Um, because there's just a lot of very subtle half toning, and I don't know how to change the size of the half tone, but you know what? <laughs> Good enough. <laughs> but oh, yeah. I like it. Oh, this looks rad. Because then... sometimes in that movie, they did the big half tones. Yeah. yeah. I feel like it works. So, and I also saw that in the movie, the hair looks very painted. It almost mm-hmm. looks kind of pencil like. So, yeah. just went and painted some hair. And I, I mean, I don't kind of don't know what to say because the rest of this is a lot of just trying to figure out what I'm doing. Um, and yeah. a lot of that is just keep adding more shadows. Uh. Yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, I feel like also that's like what people that are watching this that might be into art yeah. want to know is like they people always ask like how do you how did you figure out how to do that? And a lot of times the answer is <laughs> I just messed around for I a long time. I just messed around. Like in my own just day to day, I use a lot of multiply layers and overlay layers. Oh yeah, and me too. I didn't really deviate that much from that in this. Um, although I was expecting to, but yeah, they're and, just so helpful. Uh, I started on a mid, just a backtrack. I started kind of on like a mid gray because I knew it was going to have like a brightly colored background. Mm-hmm. And I like to think about my values, <laughs> not in life, in <laughs> colors. Um, so, oh, those explosions look good. Yeah, I like using screen adjustment oh, layers. There we You're go. doing the, the thing they do yeah, in the movie. Yeah, yeah. Oh, it's there's so just, cool. There's a lot of like really crazy lighting stuff. Yeah. yeah. So I just went and added a bunch of yellow highlights and yeah. like, I don't know. <laughs> I mean, that- uh, Screen layers. <laughs> this is like, you really pushed it into Spider-Verse. Like I was getting the vibe of it before. <laughs> And then you start, you like added that effect to the explosions and then yeah. you added the yeah. yellow highlights. And I'm like, yeah, this is absolutely <laughs> yeah, totally. I was very excited for the yellow highlights. <laughs> yeah, super cool. I love that oh, purple. Oh, this is so dope. Yeah, and I think a lot of the rest of this is just me trying to figure out what I wanted to do for the background and not knowing any better, but also just um, messing around and really <laughs> slowing my computer down by making the halftone brush brushes. Oh, that's cool. Enormous. Yeah. I, yeah. Well, spoiler, I don't keep this one. <laughs> <laughs> spoiler, it wasn't cool enough. Spoiler, I'm very indecisive. Everything I just did, options. it's gone now. I do that a lot. I like to just do whole things and erase it. Oh, I like the orbs around the explosions, though. That's yeah, cool. I thought that was the right choice. Do you keep that? Yeah, I keep okay, that. Okay, cool. <laughs> I'm so happy to see someone else who does just a bunch of stuff and then winds up not keeping any of it. Because yeah. that's usually my MO on this. Yeah. On this series, you can call yeah. it that. I mean, I've avoided doing complicated backgrounds in mine, as you saw. <laughs> Well, I thought it would be fitting to do something a little zany. So yeah, here's, definitely. Here's mine. This is so dope. <laughs> this Thank is you. so good. I want to like scream it <laughs> from the mountains. I want to go up on a mountain and scream, "This is dope." <laughs> this is dope. Oh man, you did such a good job, Karina. This Thank rules. Thank you. Yeah. I had Absolutely. a lot of fun figuring this out. I feel like people are going to want this as like a desktop background. Very Absolutely. in the zone. Well, yeah, I'll, I'll post it. I guess. <laughs> yeah. Uh, feel feel free to once this app is out. Um, all right, Julia, are you ready to do yours? <laughs> that's a good noise. That yeah. means that's Julia's hyped up noise. Uh, She's ready to go. Yeah. <laughs> do you want to tell us a little bit about what you did? Um, so I, I put the call out to Twitter and I said, what difficult art style would you like to see me do? And so many people said, Ayami Kojima, the artist, behind the original Castlevania games. Oh yeah. <laughs> She's one of my my faves. And um, also a person that I have pulled up for one of these challenges. It's been like, I'm gonna do this one. And I pulled up <laughs> reference and I was like, I'm not gonna do this one. I'm not ready. <laughs> I I think this is the first one of these that I did not have fun doing because it was so mm. difficult. Because she is a traditional artist who taught herself and didn't know any other artists. So she taught herself every (laughs) medium, but she uses traditional mediums in non-traditional ways. (gasps) And you're on a computer. Yeah. 
Well, and you we went for it? it. Yeah, let's get into it. Okay. Three, two, one, go. So I drew Aizawa because I felt like he kind of fit the Castlevania feel oh, a totally. little bit. Yeah. If, if Castlevania <laughs> had a dirty boy, a dirty, tired boy, it would be him. Yeah. So I started off with the basic sketch um, because uh, Ayami's anatomy is a little weird. Um, it's like a little <laughs> off if you really look at it. Um, but it's also beautiful. Yeah, there's something yeah. very like soft and yeah. Every person she draws is is beautiful. Yeah, and if there's a big pause, it's because I'm looking at reference, going, <laughs> "What? How? Wow, why? Oh, was that the part where you sent us <laughs> samples? <laughs> yeah. Um, the other thing with her art is that she uses such thick oils that mm. it creates lighting effects on her paintings. Like you can see the light that's coming from above the painting to hit just like the thickness of the painting. So you see like whole brush strokes in all of her things. Like her backgrounds are apparently grease that she pushes into it. Oh, interesting. Huh. Yeah, and she also uses like, it looks like uh, like colored pencils for the face to get like those fine details for like the eyelashes, but that's on top of oil paints that are super, super thick and like mashing together and blending together. Is this your inking so... color? No, this is my refined sketch. Because I've she never seen do you use ink. this color before. <laughs> yeah, this yellow? This is a new development. <laughs> wow. Yeah, I tried a new color um, because things were going to get weird and, and wild. She, I also used a, a 50% uh, gray background as my neutral because she tends to go very dark when she does paintings. And also, Aizawa has um, jet black hair. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and so you'd have to like a jet let black that pop outfit. A bit. And yeah, yeah, yeah. So I had to um, try to figure that out. So I went lighter with everything, and then you see that I go darker. Can yeah. I say I, I love this composition so far? Thanks. Yeah. And like I think you really captured the way she does, like eyes, like the facial features Thank that you, you drew look really <laughs> a lot like hers. Strong but beautiful. Strong and, but beautiful. And soft. It's a mystery. Um, and then I, I tried just a lot of things because I had to figure out how to do an oil painting on the computer. Um, so I, I made the mistake of trying to work how I usually work, which is in many layers so that I can manipulate things. Yeah. But the way that oil brushes work, like the Kyle Webster oil brushes, is that everything has to be on the same layer. For so it, it will like yeah. mix properly? Yeah, so that it'll mix and blend. So you'll see that it's like kind of streaky in the beginning. And then, yeah, like there you can see that it's starting to blend. And then I start flipping in between colors so I can blend it and push and pull it. It's wild because the <laughs> hair looks, the way that she paints it, the hair looks so wet and then the faces look like really, really soft. Yeah. And like also very dry because she's not using oils. <laughs> wet and soft and dry. It's... Also, I imagine like based on when I look at her work that she probably spends a lot of time yes. on each piece and like yeah. really gets into the details and like it's I imagine it's a multiple day yeah. process. And I tried to do that in a couple of hours. Yeah, you had to like distill into a couple hours. <laughs> and you see me try a lot of things that I wind up just going over again because I I don't like how it's happening. Like this whole facial hair I wind up redoing uh on like the skin layer later so that it'll blend a little bit because the way that she also does eyebrows is that she oil paints it on top of like a thin like oil painting of the skin but then does the skin shading in pencil or something so you see like facial hair just come in and out because it's all <laughs> like super super wet oils yeah i can't imagine using that many different media she, I it, can't imagine using two media. I mean, it seems like she's just having fun with it and just like, what if yeah. I use this thing? What if I use this thing? What about this thing? Yeah, it's fun to mix things. Yeah. Um, it's a wild time. I would be so scared. Yeah. I mean, especially since she was doing it all, you know, traditionally. Yeah. And I was doing this <laughs> digitally. But, yeah, it's... Um, just a lot of stuff. This happening. is looking rad so far. Thanks. My whole, my whole brain, my whole brain was busted. <laughs> the at whole some thing? point, yeah. 
It's like I started <laughs> off being like, oh, yeah, I could probably figure this out. Like I've painted traditionally before. But again, I was still in computer mindset. Yeah. And then I just had to completely abandon that and do everything on one layer. So I had to, I just merged all my layers and started painting again. Oh boy. <laughs> <laughs> but isn't there something kind of freeing about that? Just like. A little bit, but Like then, by limiting yourself, you yeah. kind of like feel a little. That was, uh, that, that definitely was good and it was nice. Um, it's and like it was a, real a little painting. freeing. Yeah. <laughs> uh, here's the thing about real painting. I hate it. I hate doing it. I'm not good at it. <laughs> um, <laughs> you can see me trying to get some shading in there and blend that. Ooh. Yeah. Try to give it depth because she does a lot of like soft shading on on a. Uh, I was looking at specifically the one that she did for what's his face's whip. She Richter. Has, yeah, there's a <laughs> Richter. Richter. There's a <laughs> painting she did of Richter where he's holding it over his head and you can see that it's like pretty soft looking. It looks really cool. But I was looking at it being like how how do I make it bandages? Yeah. <laughs> Um, I will say that if you just showed me this, even at this stage, yeah. and told me like what artist, asked me what artist you were mimicking, that's the first person I would say. Like I think okay, you've, that's you've good. captured the look really well. Yeah. This was me debating a background because she you know, has a lot of black and red backgrounds. And I was like, oh, that doesn't work with this. So I got rid of it. Uh, it didn't include his eye. His red eye. He has red eyes, right? When he I does think so, power. yeah. When he does his uh, <laughs> racer head power. Yeah. <laughs> See, this is me redoing the facial hair like the Ooh. eyebrows and the beard and you can see it oh, blending yeah, a little yeah. bit more and it gets like a little softer and it gets that paint texture totally so that means that after this i'm going to start redoing the hair oh uh, no because i merge yeah. it oh no julia <laughs> this is the process i love yeah. this <laughs> it's it's just like realizing that you should have just done it right from the beginning instead of trying to shortcut it but but the only way to really learn that is to mess <laughs> yeah. it up, you know, yeah. or like do it one way and be like, this yeah. doesn't work. You have to yeah. like figure it out on your own. For the face and all the shading on the face, I was switching between uh, pencil tools and oil to kind of make it work. Yeah. Uh, I also just didn't like the shape of the hair a whole lot. So I went in and cleaned that up and then I was fixing some of my blending there. I just, you know, I think my problem with it is that she is like a master at what she does, Ayami. Like, yeah. just she's so good at what she does. And then mine, in comparison, I feel like I went back like I don't know, twelve years of <laughs> art experience. Like, it just it looks like compared to hers, it looks like such a rudimentary oil painting. I yeah. mean, I think it looks like what a really good artist yeah. could do in two hours <laughs> to mimic uh, someone who's a master of what they do and has all the time to work on it. I just, it's one of those things where I just Ooh, wish yeah. that I <laughs> could have done it better, but it was hard and she's, you know, uh, as renowned as she is for a reason. Uh, oh, there's my layers. You saw them very quickly. <laughs> yeah. that, that scrolling mouse. You can see my computer freaking out a little bit at me trying to blend some of this. <laughs> Computers don't like it when you do that. No. Yeah. And then I'm trying to add some clarity and depth to some of these because it's starting to bleed a bit. Yeah. Um, because I was using some really just wet oils in there. So it was all starting to mesh together and it got kind of blurry. So I was trying to go in and like the, the more you kind of, of add like the paint texture to this, the more it's like working yeah. for me too, yeah. I think. Like she uses some real she gets real brush strokey in clothes. Yeah. Like you can really see that she just kind of chunks it out. Um, oh, now oh. you're working on some background ideas. So now, <laughs> since she pushes grease into the background to get that texture where you can see the emboss of the light coming from the top, I actually, <laughs> I did like a trick digitally where I put in brush strokes, added an emboss, erased the shadow part of the emboss so you just have the light and I uh, put the layer on darken and it was like, you know, you saw that it was like a really bright color. 
So you don't see those strokes anymore. You just see the light source. <laughs> you actually used an emboss, which yeah. I thought was impossible. I've done it. To do in I any like, sort of way. I had to think about what that was again. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I think I think this is it. Is this your your final one? I think this is my final one because I just I had to stop at some point <laughs> or else I was just going to keep pushing and pulling forever and I probably would have eventually gotten to a place that I really liked it, but I probably would have spent, you know, a, a unreasonable amount of time. Yeah, but this looks awesome this is though. Rad. Is the thing. I think you crushed it. Yeah. Like I said, I like <laughs> <laughs> I feel like you're really failing to consider that you did this in two hours as compared to... Is she like this every time? <laughs> yeah, she is like this every single time. Um, and I people in the comments, Goku. People in the comments, I know, will be yelling at you right now. I liked my Goku. This one was just hard for me and I didn't have fun. But I'm glad that I did it. I learned a lot and I will be using it going forward, which I guess is the point. That is yeah. the point, we're all learning here. Yeah, <laughs> and I think it's also good to show people that like professional artists don't do everything perfectly or don't yeah. love it. And, yeah. You know, they That's also have why a rough time. I really like, because I use Procreate a lot now, because mm -hmm. I love being in bed. Um, <laughs> and I like that it automatically records your drawings unless yeah. you turn that off. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I like posting those because then people will be like, wow, you spent a full, two hours on that arm and I'm like yes I did <laughs> and I they find it, it comforting yeah, yeah. I'm I like, erased cool, it six times me too we're all comrades here yeah, yeah. bad at deciding which way the arm goes it's yeah. good to demystify it the process <laughs> yeah. and like the more people can see of how much everyone struggles yeah. to yeah. sort of like get the result they want I think the more people <laughs> will like feel better about their own yeah process. and how, how much of it goes Hell into yeah. just logistics and trying to figure it out yeah, you know? <laughs> like you never get in on the first shot. There's just a lot of trying. Art's hard, y'all. Art's hard, y'all. Art hard. But we had fun. I hope you guys had fun watching Ooh. this. We'll be doing more of these in the future, so keep a lookout. If yeah. you're feeling like you want to, maybe leave a comment with some styles we could do. Yes. Because that'll be helpful for us next time. Mm -hmm. And as always, we're sorry. 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 Hey, thanks for watching that episode of Drawfee. If you like Drawfee and the stuff we make, the best way to support us is by signing up for Dropout. For around the cost of a jug of mouthwash a month, you get access to Drawfee episodes a week early, as well as a exclusive Dropout Discord where you can chat with me. And you get access to the Dropout exclusive shows like Cartoon Hell, I Made That Show, I'm um, Actually, which I was on, and Rank Room, which I was also on. It's a good time. Start your free trial. Go to dropout.tv. Please. <laughs>